Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your October 2017 monthly general reading. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you. This may or may not resonate, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius for the month of October. What do you have for Sagittarius? Right, so we are going to zoom that in, or I am going to zoom that in. All right, so the center of your reading is love, okay? The Knight of Cups, that's love, some kind of loving action this month, okay? We did Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This would probably be you, Sagittarius, but it also represents Aries and Leo. We do have some love, there's no doubt about it, or there's a deep, deep attraction where you could be having feelings for somebody or somebody might have feelings for you. Okay, um, does look like you're gonna re some, receive something new on a physical level, so this could be Financially, it could be money-wise or it could be a new partner. I do see that you've been really concentrating on your work or your career or finding a good job, whatever the case may be, but I think you've been putting a lot of effort into it. I see um, you having a fresh start of some sort and that could be in love, okay? I think that there's a fresh start. I, whereas perhaps you were feeling like you were in th on thin ice or a relationship was on thin ice, but that feeling could be going away or you are ending a relationship because, you know, it was on thin ice. So it can go either way. And I see that somebody is starting over. Okay, so it could be a fresh start with somebody that you're with or it could be a complete fresh start on your own. We do have the Nine of Pentacles with the Fool, okay? So you could be starting over on your own. Now, this is going to resonate for some and not all. Um, I do see that there's been a lot of healing going on, and you have the potentials for, potential for some of your wishes to be fulfilled this month. It looks really, really good. I see some satisfaction. I think um, things are probably happening where you might have expected they were going to. Okay, your hard work is paying off in some section of your life. It could be at work or it could be in love because we have work and love right here, both of them, and something is paying off, okay? I see you living uh, very gratefully. Um, being very grateful is what I'm trying to say for all that you have. It looks like this month is just a uh, very... Um, loving so I think you are either offering some love or emotional support to somebody or somebody is offering it to you in a big way okay Sagittarius because this is love this is love this is love and they're all connected and this is love as well so we have quite a bit of love here um, communication um, There's a strong attraction, a strong bond, perhaps, between you and another person. Could be an Aries, okay? We have Aries, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Leo and Sagittarius. That's what we have right now. We also have Aquarius. Let's get the next deck. Um, there is potential for happiness here, okay? So this month might be a pretty happy month for many of you. Because of your hard work, I think that you've persevered through something and you have not quit. 
All right, I see satisfaction. Your wish is perhaps being fulfilled, and it could be regarding love. That's for darn sure, because we have your wishes being fulfilled here and here, and we have this love in the middle, um, messages of love. So there could be um, a new partnership, all right? Or a resurgence, a fresh start with somebody that you're already with. I see you're letting go of something. Maybe you're letting go of the need to control because we have that emperor up there and the emperor is usually in control. So, and this is letting go of something, either responsibilities or burdens or something that is very heavy. Heavy. So the emperor is, remains in control of everything. So perhaps you are letting go of the need to be in control. All right, and that could be your fresh start. Maybe you've healed from something with the star right next to it. I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to get this next deck here in a minute. I think an end of a situ an end of a relationship um, strife is here. We have the Ten of Cups. That's a completion regarding a relationship. So, so it could be a complete a completion of a relationship completely. Or an emotional attachment to a relationship. Or it could be um, a completion to a thought that you were holding on to that was hindering your relationship. Alright, that fell out. That's an obsession. That's an obsession of some sort. Let's get the rest of them. You might be thinking about somebody from your past, somebody you grew up with, or somebody from the past might be thinking about you, or somebody you've dated in the past, all right? This is an awakening. This is a wake-up call. It's a breakthrough. Um, you're, gonna, you're letting go of something, and that is your awakening. You're finally letting go of something, so it could be something that was weighing heavily on you that was pointless okay it could have been here we have feeling insecure you could be letting go of that and that that insecurity comes from within the tower the tower is a false foundation that must come down it must because you can't go back up until it does this falseness must come down and you've been resisting resisting it with this it's like no I can't let go I can't let go of these I cannot let go for some reason I can't let go okay so and it has to do with a love a partnership okay so per perhaps somebody has been holding you back from this new love because you haven't been able to let them go the tower comes out to say that's false you need to let them go Okay, that's a false foundation. Hmm. I need to get the rest of the cards. You're about to start something over. Something is going to start new. Because something is over. Either a thought that you had that was hindering you or a relationship completely. Now, this could be a job even. Okay, this could be a job or it could be a partner. But something is over, especially with this being right next to the tower in the fool. Something was false false okay there was something that was false completely and it has to come down and the tower comes out when the universe is here to help you knock it down all right so they're gonna they're just gonna assist you with this little endeavor so that you can move forward all right so the ten of swords says something there was a disappointment of some sort okay there's been some hurt um you know some some pain it looks like there's been some pain here. And perhaps, you know, you could be letting that go. That could be your awakening, all right, that that makes you start anew, take a risk, um, starts brand new, okay? So you could be starting brand new this month, could be with a new love. Now, this Knight of Cups is right in the middle. This is love. This is new love. It's a new emotional um, feeling for somebody that is kind and loving and caring and generous okay so you could have that feeling for somebody or somebody could have it for you all right and your awakening could be that you need to let somebody else go so that this person can come in you have a few tens here you do tens are about um you have three of them ten and under here, wherever it is, the 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. All right, so those are completions. Completion, completion, completion. A completion, perhaps, of a relationship. 
a completion of a negative thought, something that has been weighing you down, and a completion of burdens. This is the weight that you've been carrying, the burden regarding probably the relationship and the thought. So these are all ending. So one phase of a relationship could be ending and a new one could be beginning because we have the fool. The fool says a few things, but it says that you could have a fresh start. You could have a new start. You could be starting over completely, blindly taking a risk, all right? Just flying, all right? Taking a risk into the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen next. You have the fool twice. That's what this card is. It's going into the unknown without knowing what's going to happen next. All right? And you have it twice. So this month you could be taking a step in that direction. It could be with a new partner. Okay? Um, you are going to have an awakening with this judgment card. Something is going to happen. That force is an ending with the tower and the ten of swords right next to each other. Something is going to end this month. But it leads to love, whatever it is, okay? Because we have love right here. All right? And that is the basis of your reading. So let me get the next deck. A lot of you are thinking about an ex or somebody from the past. Um, could be somebody you grew up with or vice versa. Somebody from the past is thinking about you quite a bit. And they might want a fresh start with you or you might want a fresh start with them. All right. Perhaps somebody is finally going to see the light. All right. And let go of their need to control a situation. And they could be just letting go completely of a negative thought or something that was holding them back. The universe is, or the tower is here to, to help that happen. That's divine, divine help right there. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of focus on your career. So you could be looking for a new job. You could be trying to step up the ladder, trying to impress the bosses. Um, really focusing on your career, focusing on your job, trying to make more money. I think there's a big focus right there. I Like I said, I think that you have worked hard towards something. Could be towards a relationship, but I think this really is, it could be towards a work as well. Queen of Wands. And that's you, Sagittarius. Ten of Swords, again, you have it twice. Something is completely over. When this card comes out twice, it's absolutely positive that something is has ended that you feel like you have been defeated by. This defeated you. Okay, and now you just have to let it go. You can't carry it around anymore. It's time to heal from the situation. This month you might be healing from that and really starting over, starting fresh. And perhaps when you start fresh, this is when this new um, love comes in. Ten of Wands, son of a bitch. Ten, I mean, you have this one too, because here it is. You are. This is the burden. I was just, I was connecting these two, so I really could just repeat myself here. I mean, you are letting go of this big, huge heaviness that has been weighing you down. It, you can't carry it anymore. It's a negativity, all right? You don't need it. You just don't need it. It's time to let it go. Eight of Wands. You know, this is fast moving energy, perhaps, and that is what I was going to say too. I was going to say very quickly, but I stopped myself from saying it, but it just, it really wanted me to say it. This, as soon as you let go of these burdens and whatever's holding you back, whatever's so heavy, pretty quickly, I think somebody new is going to come in if you don't know who they are already. All right. And if you're already partnered and there's no chance of splitting up, it could be the minute you let go of this negative thing that is really hindering your relationship in a big, big, big way, then you can have a resurgence of love. The devil, okay? The devil is about obsessions. There's definitely some obsessions here because we have the four of pentacles under here as well. Addictions. Um, manipulation it's also a false imprisonment so there's definitely some falseness here I think you've been stuck to something that you don't need to be stuck to anymore okay you, you can free yourself from this at any time you can whatever it is love is in the middle of your reading for October there is potential for love this month there is 
a lot of it. And you know, this could pertain to a job. Maybe you need to let one job go to apply for another. A lot of people love their job. So however this applies to you. This says that you really need to focus. That Queen of Wands up there, you really need to focus it on what it is that you want. You know, are you do you want a fresh start? Do you want do you want to keep carrying the heavy load? I mean, which one do you want? Do you know the answer to that question? And I'm saying this heavy load, this heavy burden, if you're stuck to somebody who isn't um who's causing a lot of disappointment in your life, put it that way. Um, causing you a lot of hurt and a lot of sadness. If you're stuck to somebody who's causing you that, then you're going nowhere. Causing you to feel insecure, because this is the insecure. The heart of the matter. Interesting, I'm gonna zoom that in. Number 22. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. Take a moment to get to the real issues in this situation. Did I just get done telling you that you had to focus? Sorry. Take a moment to get to the real issues in this situation. Sometimes at the very heart of the situation lies the truth of what is going on. Be honest and willing to do what is ever necessary to take care of this. Be honest with yourself when you go in to refocus. What is it that you want? How long can you carry this around with you? Are you ready to let it go? Or, or, I mean, you have a lot of insecurity right here. So do you want to be insecure in whatever it is you're in for ever? I mean, for how long can you wait? Put yourself in your sister's shoes or your best friend's shoes. Okay? Or anybody's shoes. Put yourself in those shoes and look at it from an outsider looking in, okay? What would they tell you? How would they tell you to handle it? How would you tell your friend to handle it if they were holding on to somebody that wasn't giving them the attention that they needed? How would you, what would you tell them? Even if it's a job, what would you tell them? The heart of the matter. Talk to you later, Sagittarius.